Hey there folks, it's Greeny XI welcoming you back to the Green Vlog. Today is the uh, 28th of November. This episode will be going out on the 29th, I imagine. Um, I just want to make a quick video saying about my channel right now. I have a bit of an update, which is going to be going back to one Let's Play at a time. I don't know if you noticed, I always do an every other day. Um, two different Let's Plays. Uh, so it's going to be every other day, this can be an episode of Grandia 2. I might be able to get far enough ahead and get another let's play in between. That would be nice, and I know what it would be, but for now, just Grandia 2. And this will give me space to do the odd, the odd video like this and put them in between them. So that's it, really. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> no, I also wanted to talk about the PS5 a little bit, because God knows everyone's talking about it. I've had a few questions. So <laughs> I've got it, it is huge. Um, got the controller by it. And I love it. I am really enjoying it so much. It's It all feels really speedy and really modern and fresh. And it's a lot of an upgrade from the PS4. Because there are no, barely, barely any loading times when it comes in to the games. And somebody was asking me, is other PS4 disc games any, um, any more improved? Have they improved or anything like that from when you played on the PS4? I'm not sure yet, I still haven't tried one, but I have tried one of the PS4 games that were slightly tweaked for PS5, like there were 20 of them that came for free for Plus. Um, I tried God of War and it feels really quick. I haven't played the original but I've heard about the load times and all that and I've seen the comparison videos and it feels really quick as well as like you can feel like it's got the smart vibrations in the controller where if you're climbing on your left foot on a ledge it'll vibrate on the left and on the right foot on the right, that sort of thing. They've added a few little things like that. That's the only game I've tried out of all them because I've rather played all the others or so I'm not that interested so... <laughs> there is one game on there I want to get and that's Uncharted 4 but I, I want to play through 1 to 3 again first. So that's probably going to be the disc game I try, the PS4 remaster of Uncharted. One to three. <laughs> it's all remasters and stuff, isn't it? Um, otherwise, games I've been playing on it. I tried Astro Boy's Playroom. That is really bloody good. It's technically a, a tech demo for the controller, sort of Nintendo style, but it's a proper game in itself. It probably lasts for maybe five to ten hours to 100%. I would say nearer ten, maybe. And it's, it's just incredible and it's really fun. And because of that, I was really excited to play Sackboy as well. Sackboy's Big Adventure, which was the f one of two games that I bought pre-ordered. Um, and Sackboy is incredible. It's really good fun. I will warn you though, the Little Big Planet games, they're known for like the online gaming and they, but this doesn't have online co-op yet. It's coming by the end of the year in a patch. So that's a bit getting because like not far off half the trophies are co-op based, like multiplayer based, so I'm a bit stuck. Because I got all the other trophies except for one which is doing the ultimate knitted time trial, which is... The knitted time trials, there's stages which you sort of have a, a time trial on. <laughs> They're normally about 30 seconds, sometimes going up to about a minute. This one, the ultimate one, once you've done all the others, is like 10 minutes to get the gold, the gold trophy. The gold time. I don't know if it's worth a gold trophy. I think it is. Um, 10 minutes, one life, and then you're back to the start if you die, if you fall off. You can get hit once and still carry on, but normally if you get hit you're going to be knocked off or it's going to sacrifice your time or, you, you know, it's a bit... It's a bit shit and it's hard. I can get to about the 4-5 to five minute mark and then die, and I assume that's about halfway. Hopefully it's about halfway and I'm not doing it really slow, but yeah, that's, that's that boy. It's pretty much a little big planet, but... 3D, like 3D platform instead of 2D, and mm, I think that's about it. Oh, there's no creative element to it like there used to be. You can you can choose like costumes for your character and unlock different clothes and all that sort of shit, but there's no create your own world kind of aspect to it, which I'm fine with. I never liked that aspect of the games, but I know some people will have been expecting that. So I'm really enjoying this anyway. So. The other game I bought on launch, I've not, I haven't even opened it yet. Spider-Man. Spider-Man Miles Morales. This version comes with Spider-Man, the PS4 one, you know, the, the big game that everyone's talking about. 
and it's well, I haven't tried it. I haven't tried the original or the or Miles Morales, so I can't really say much about it. But I'm really looking forward to it because I remember I used to play some of these sort of Marvel DC comic book games back back when I was little, back on PS1, and I used to enjoy them. I was really bad at them, and they were always really wonky, like buggy, <laughs> but I used to enjoy them. And it's the first time in a couple of generations of console that I've played any of them, so I'm really excited to check it out, especially since the trailer, not at E3, but whatever the equivalent was, the like PS5 launch announcement sort of trailers. It looked so good. It was the one with the bridge. I won't say anymore in case anyone's trying not to know, but it was, it was the trailer with the bridge and it looked incredible. And it reminded me of Final Destination. <laughs> the last one. So, yeah, they're my games. There's so many games I want to play on there. I've got Wolf Among Us on there, on the go, because I, I meant to play that back on PS4, but I didn't get around to it. So now I'm playing through it now and I've played the first episode and it's an incredible story. It's one of those telltale ones. Uh, I'm also wanting to play I want to play uh, it's called Bug Snaps Bug Snaps it's like Pokemon Snap but with like more generic looking creatures I guess <laughs> I've heard it's really good though like I was looking at the images and it put me off a bit but it's free and so I thought okay I'll download it and it's meant to be really good so I want to give that a go as well so many games. I got Dark Cloud I want to play on there, the PS2 game remaster that came to PS4. I want to play that. Uh, but with Grandia 2 on the go, with like two RPGs at once, it's always a bit much for me, so I'm not sure. So, yeah, I've got plenty to get on with. I've got Crash 4, somebody's buying me for Christmas. And I've been looking forward to that a lot because cra Crash 1 to 3 were incredible, and I feel Crash 4 is very similar. So, except maybe bigger. I don't know. I I mean, I don't care. I think Crash 1 to 3 were the perfect length. They were enough for you to play through in a day and be done. Crash 4 is meant to be bigger. I'll see what I think about it once again. Get on with the game, and I, I don't know. Yeah. What else have I been doing to do with the PS4? Any questions I can answer? Um, it's a studio. Remember Mango Man? Mango Mesh was asking me that in the YouTube comments. And yes, it's extremely big, it's extremely heavy, it ain't falling anyway, <laughs> unless it crashes through with the desk drawers. <laughs> but no, no, it's really sturdy. Um, I've got it horizontal, because I've got like half like wall-mounted bookshelves above the drawers where, where it can go. So I've got it horizontal, and it comes with a, a stand. Like a free stand in with the console box, which when you go down horizontal, you put it about halfway and it's got markers on the console which are really sort of subtle. And you put them on them and then it goes on the drawers and that's it. Just so it lifts it up a little bit from from the surface. Not sure why. Maybe something to do with fans, I'm guessing, but no idea. Uh, if you put it vertical, you can use that same stand, rotate it a bit, screw it into the console, and there we go. <laughs> So it's free, you've got a free one. I don't know how sturdy that is as a vertical sort of thing. It seems fine when I did try it, because I did try it out. And it, yeah, it seems okay. I'm really happy with the console though. The SSD drive, you can definitely tell, is so, so fast. Everything is so fast. The home menu is like pretty similar to PS3 and PS4. You know, it's got that same sort of hub menu sort of games across horizontally and all that sort of stuff. But now, when you press the, the PlayStation button, I don't know if it's called the home button anymore. I don't know if you can even see it because it's so dark. Y yeah, in the middle. That button now, you press it once without holding it in and it sort of brings up this sort of quick menu across the bottom. You can change games, something called the switcher. You can change games, or go, you know, apps, Netflix, all that sort of stuff is already there. Uh, you can shut it down, you can check your network signal, you can check what everyone else is playing, your friends list. Um, yeah, there's this a lot and it, that's pretty good. You can hold it down now and it'll take you back to the main menu. So they've switched around what they did on the PS4. Now you have to hold it down to go back to the actual main menu. So, yeah. It, I'm really happy with the PS5 in every aspect and I, I can't see any downsides. 
other than there were one or two bugs I encountered while playing one Astro's Playroom, Astro Boy's Playroom. Uh, wait, I got towards the end of the game. I got hundred percent in all the worlds except for like the final boss world and all that. And uh, it crashed on me on a loading screen, not loading screen. Um, when I was going through a door, and I had to turn the PS Five off, put it back on via the plug because it wouldn't turn off properly otherwise. And when I turned it back on, my save date was gone. It was probably corrupted and deleted, so I had to start the whole game again. This is a short game I didn't mind, and it was my first game on the PS5, so I was, I was still excited with it all, so it, it didn't really bother me, but it was still made it take twice as long as it needed to, <laughs> pretty much. Another bug, the other one I found during Sackboy, during a cutscene, it froze. But in that instance, it was just a game that froze. I could uh, I could get out of it on the home menu and shut it and go back on it. And the thing is with Sackboy as well, it auto saves every time you, I think every time you finish a stage or something. So I didn't lose any real progress. Any progress really, because on bosses, normally you don't have a stage before it anyway, it's just straight in, pretty much. So, yeah. I finished Sackboy, by the way. I finished it, for the most part, just that ultra time trial and all the multiplayer stuff to do, so I'm waiting for the patch to come to actually be able to play the game more, really. And I guess I'll keep trying with that time trial, but I, I can't keep replaying the same bits over and over, especially with the music. <laughs> I'm not much for a challenge, I just like... A decent challenge, right? I don't mind... I'm, I don't mind dying once or twice and then carrying on, but not over and over and over and over. You know, Mega Man Syndrome. I'm, just, I'm not into that. So, yeah. And I haven't really been up to that much else, because I've had this past week off work, and it's been... It's been okay. I've been locked in mostly. I haven't seen anyone I know, except for one time. I haven't been able to do much, you know? And I know in Wales now we're going back into lockdown. Give it a, a week. I think it's next Monday or next Friday. I think it's next Friday. Going back down to lock, going back into lockdown, and I think we're allowed out for Christmas Day. <laughs> oh, I'm bored of it now. I'm bored of COVID. I'm bored. Of, I'm bored of a deadly disease. You wouldn't expect to hear that. Would you? <laughs> so that's it today. I just started Christmas shopping online, having a quick look. I have no idea what anyone wants because I don't see anyone. I don't. Yeah. So I'll. Uh, it'll probably just be gift cards for people, for most people. Doesn't matter. I'll. Uh, I'll keep looking. So, I think I'll leave it off there. I don't think there's any more PS5 questions people have asked me. I mean, just keep looking. If you're trying to get a PS5 in your car, just keep looking on the website. So. They're updating them like quite often. It's just you have to be really quick. Beat all the sculptors, sculptors and all that. It's just a lot of shit in his own right. But you can't blame people for wanting to make mega money just from scamming people. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's what you can do. I was um, I was watching Blue Exorcist. I'm a bit late to the party with that one. And I was season one. I loved. I loved the sort of episodes are just one episode and wrap up one episode and wrap up and then season two came along and I was very disappointed because it was like one long arc 12 episodes long and it was just filler so much filler it could have been done in like an hour but it was about three hours instead and it was oh no <laughs> if there is a season three at any point they need to sort that <laughs> just figure it out So, that's about it. <laughs> I might head off in a sec and watch some... Watch another Ghibli film, I think it's Castle in the Sky. Is it Castle in the Sky or Castle in the Air? Not House Moving Castle, but the other one they made before it. Yeah. I might do that, because I've been trying to make my way through them because of all the Netflix. So, anyway. No, Grandia 2 first. I'm going to play some Grandia 2. Do it now, when there's nobody in the house. <laughs> So, this has been Green Yaxai. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in a bit when 
Or I'll, I'll carry on with Grandia for now. Have a good Christmas, folks. I'm sure I'll make a video based on based on what I get for Christmas. If uh, I know we're not doing as much this year, so I don't really know what I'm gonna talk about. But mm, I'll probably be the next vlog, I expect. Give me some check in the comments what questions go about the PS5 because I'll answer plenty of them. I've I'll answer all of them that I can. So thanks for watching, folks. See you again in a bit.